What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be doing another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So, lads, today, again, done a little bit of XP, spent a little bit of MT, but, I mean, it's not, it's not the end of the world. We have spent a little bit of MT. Did we get anything good in this league pack? Of course we didn't get anything good in the league pack. We got Spencer freaking Dinwiddie. Oh, we got Spencer Dinwiddie, let's go! Is he still expensive? If you guys don't know about Spencer Dinwiddie, you guys will know about Spen learn about Spencer Dinwiddie. He's a Nets Nets gold. He is a Nets gold. Spencer Dinwiddie. Yeah, that's unreal. If you guys don't know, basically for James to get James Harden in this game, you need Nets gold players. So wait, why don't I just sell my Dinwiddie? Don't be dumb. I can probably get like 3750 for him. Okay, I just want to see how many Nets golds do I have. Or base set. Nets. So literally, um, send to auctions. I look at that. I, we can get 3750 for all of these guys and sell them quickly. Like We can get 4k and sell all these guys quickly. So like four four hundred, yeah. I think I put up all these for four K to get bought up like that because I don't want Harden. Like if I wanted Harden, I mean for content I might just get Harden at some stage, but today's not the day. Today is not the day for that. So let me go three nine fifty. You know for that, Put him up for three nine fifty. I completely forgot just how many. As soon as I saw Dinwiddie, I was like, oh, we got, damn, we got Dinwiddie. I was like, oh my god, yes, we got Dinwiddie. If you guys do not, if you guys have any gold um, Nets players sitting there, did I not have a fourth player? I could have swore that I had a fourth player. No, that was a. Am I right in saying that that Nets gold player. No. I don't know why I didn't send carry killers my auctions. So 3950. There we go. So these four will sell for that. Like these four cards right here, they will almost certainly, almost certainly sell for 3950. Like that's looking at say like it's 16k loot or it was a 1.6k tax, like 14.4k. Minus like two something. Or minus a little bit less than it's like 14.2 some like two a little bit over 14.2k made. That is not bad at all. So the reason for that is the exchange. So for Otis Bird song. You know what screw? It. I'm just gonna i I'm just gonna complete this challenge. I don't even care. I really don't even care. Five Ruby players. Nah, there's no point. Definitely not. The half badge is definitely not worth it because it's not even a choice pack. If this was a choice pack, I think it might be worth it. It's not a choice pack. Diamond shoe. Like, why would you put like diamond shoes? Like, I know you get six cards. I don't know why you get in that pack. Diamond contracts isn't worth it. But like the Nets player, Sleepy Floyd. Actually, Sleepy Floyd needs Warriors players. And I do not own any Warriors players. Great. Uh, but like James Harden. It's uh, three nets golds, and I've obviously got rid of them, so that's why the players are high. In, uh, players are high, like Warriors players are quite high in price as well. So in terms of playing the game, let's go and play a game of the draft right here. Actually, you know what? We actually have a diamond consumables pack to be open. Where is it? Unopen packs. Let's go and open our diamond consumables. Come on, be a contract. Be a contract. Be a contract. Be a contract, be a contract. Okay, it's a shoe. Okay, do I have any good... In terms of boost, like, there's no, uh... Just kind of still can't search from there. Okay, for me, I, there's no point with the boosts, like, overdoing it on the shoe boosts. Because I think later on in the year, they're going to be worth a lot. I think coming up to 250 time, those boosts and badges are going to be worth a lot. Like, for those wondering... 
Like, look at how many badges I have. Where is Zim miscellaneous, isn't it? I got 92 badges. And I got 92 shoes. I got a plus four three-point shoe. You look at that. That's up here. Like, that was like 9k when I wouldn't sell it. Like, it's going to be 20k come 250. It was. I mean, I, was bit, I thought that one was 4k. Like, sniping these may not be a bad idea. Like, these may really be, like, the, the lucrative snipes. If you guys know what price these all of these things sell at, sniping these is actually quite lucrative. And, like, you just gotta, you just gotta know. Like, the smartest sellers are there with their Excel spreadsheets. Does mid-range sell for anything? Mid-range sells for a little bit. Strength's not even a bad plus four. Like, yeah. They do sell for a bit. Um, these are worthless. Yeah. Like a lot of these gold shoe boosts are actually worthless. Like they don't even sell for the minimum. Like shot IQ is literally a worthless stat. Then speed. Speed. Oh, plus three. I have three speed shoes. Speed boosts. Okay, that's going to come up huge. The plus three speeds are going to get me money. Like just from these shoe boosts, I'm probably going to get, let's say, 15k. Let's say 20k for this one, 8k for this one, 5, 6. I have, no, I have about 50, 60k in these right here. I plus 3. This ball handle is huge as well. Because that's going to be a difference between, between people speed boosting. The plus 3 3 pointers, they're not quite plus 4 3 pointers, but they're going to go up to like 8 or 9k. And then we do have like plus 2 speeds, which are going to go for a little bit. I'm telling you, if you have the diamond shoe. Just get your plus two, three, three pointers instead of plus four, three pointer. Like, it doesn't make that much of a difference. I might easily have like 80, 90k in these. Uh, where are the badges? 95 badges. I got gold lucky number seven. Which again, I thought that was expensive. Like, limitless spot up. Once that badge does something, it'll go for something. I have gold chef. Which we're looking at as a. Only 3,000 for gold chef, and it's rare. Hustle is an important badge to have. I need to get like a list from Floki of all the badge prices. Is Clamps worth anything this year? Clamps worth a bit. Like that, Clamps will go up to like 10k. Clamps is probably going to go up to like 10k by at its peak. And like easily, I do have, like I got, oh, Circus 3 doesn't really do anything, does it? I got Silver Chef. Silver badges normally go for more. No, Chef is really cheap. Lucky 7. Oh my god, you can give someone look gold lucky seven for like what's it 3k? My god, mismatch expert. Silver mismatch expert cheap. Badges are so cheap this year. QFS. Only 6k, really? Oh, I thought badges were gonna be way more expensive than this. Surely bronze lucky seven is expensive then. No, you can lucky seven someone up for like 2,000 MT. That is nuts. Bronze Chef. Doesn't look to be expensive. 2k. Man, badges are so cheap right now. Like, screw it. What's post spin? I post spin 500 MT. I, I've stocked up on a bunch of them. Dead Eye. Dead Eye was so expensive last year because no players got Dead Eye. Um, yeah, Dead Eye is still like 2k. These badges are not expensive at all. Badges really, really are not expensive at all right now. So we're going to go into the draft. We, we got to play one more game here. We got to go and play a, a game of the draft um, because we are trying to eventually get Glenn Robinson. If I go to if I go through 10 games, I don't. Or I don't. I don't really care. Because this team isn't great. My whole thing is I really just want to get them done today because I just want to draft a new team tomorrow. I'm going to draft a new team and make a video on drafting that team because on the other account, I don't really want to put money in. They're out of draft tokens. And it's funny, though, when it comes to the draft. Like, 2K don't realize how much they've killed the mode. Like, I remember, like, I'm, I was speaking to Ty about it, and Ty is like, oh, three draft tokens a season is enough. And I'm like, I'm just like, no, that the problem isn't that, like, the problem is that no, the mode is dead. Like, the mode is a good idea, but it's like, when there's only three draft tokens, the mode is literally dead. Cat, Terrence Ross, and Please be Gobert off the bench. If that's the case, we're actually we're actually good. Cat T Ross and Gobert is perfect. I'm about to be hit with a backcourt. Good. Dump it into him. Dunk. 
There we go. We if we start uh, if we start taking layups, we're kind of screwed. And headphones on. I got mute. I'm muted here, so I'm gonna be out of my own music. I need to just get on get on a playlist right now. If this guy scores me, I don't care. I'm pretty confident here. Um. Oh my god, you didn't even score. But in fairness, he did just shoot the ball, with Jason Kidd. Give me that. That's just a bad shot by me. Right, idea, or not a, not a terrible shot to take. I just badly mistimed. What? Okay, I'll live with it. He just had a very early. Okay, I thought okay, it's a guaranteed two or two a cat. The cat shoots the lights out. He shot a very late. Oh, this is a beginner. All right, let's just blitz him. Let's just put him out of his misery quickly. Stop spamming! Oh my god, I just need to put him out of his misery. Green. Oh no, he just got a 25 on that. Imagine if this guy was just hustling me missing those free throws. He's actually some demon. Imagine if he was just hustling me there. He was hustling me with the way he's playing in this like first two minutes of the game. Or if he gave the control to his little brother. I'm not taking a layup. I will take a contested post fade over a layup here. Wait a minute. That didn't say timing. That didn't say timing. That wasn't timed. It's time. Can you actually turn time layups off? He is green to 30. This guy might actually be hustling me. Wait a minute. I just need to get into Vladi. <gasps> oh my god. You don't have the time layups anymore. It's a miracle. His mode is actually playable again. Good. Big board. Um, Dot Dunk Robinson is wide open corner. Green. That's terrible. That's a terrible shot right there. All right, nine two. Um, is it time to rest, Duncan? My whole thing is though is that I want Rondo on with Channing Fry. As long as I have one non, I'm good with one non-shooter, but I'm not good with any more. If, I'm, if I got two non-shooters, we're gonna struggle. I'm okay with one non-shooter on the floor, but it's just Rondo with like his 43 pointer. I'm not gonna like. I'm not. I'm not gonna put him on at the same time as Channing as um Vlade, because you've learned from other games Vlade doesn't shoot that well. Stand. He's taking off Cat, who's like his one threat. What the hell happened there? What the hell happened there? Midi, green dot. Good, let's go. Come on, good shot. Okay, we're good, we're good. Give me that board. Give me a board. Good, run, run, you run, you run, you run. Dot. It's fine, Sharif's there with screen. Offline cheese. That like that mid-range screen to the run out for the three-pointer, the offline cheese. Okay, 14 to 4. What's he do? What's he running? What? That's not even a bailout pass. That's just a pass. Do you actually need a badge to to catch a ball out of a double team? We're waiting. The defense. Give me that. There we go. We finally agree with Duncan. All right. I would like. I kind of would like a rage quit here. We're there. Two of us. Gobert is ridiculous. He's actually ridiculous. Three. Attack middle. Shoot that. He can hit that. He can hit that. I didn't green. It's all good. Okay. We're up by 11 points. Should I be up by more? Probably. Um. But it's not like we're going to lose this game here. I don't think. I'm gonna keep Darius Miles in the game. Cause I can always just throw in worthy of the three. I just need to rotate two out of three. Give me the board. Does Darius Miles get my post badges? Like, is this Darius Miles my actual Darius Miles? How did he get that steal? Still got him on the chase down though, I think. Yeah. I don't know how he got that steal though. It's Terrence Ross. You press square at the perfect time in a situation. I didn't think it was a steal. He's going to cut. 
Like, I don't know what he was doing there. Like, he didn't even switch off Cat one, for one second. This guy is, this guy is giving the controller to his little brother. Or he's never played this game before. There's no, uh, no ifs or buts about it. That's the way he's in that position. This guy is either this guy's first game of 2K this year. Or he's, uh, giving the controller to his little brother. <laughs> All right. I'll give him that basket. I could have swore. Does he not come up off a pin, like a, a pin down of that play? I see, see what these plays do. It's like I'm, I'm winning this game. Like I can, he's, tr he's double team. Dude, you're down 19 to eight. Stop sending double teams. I'm just trying to run plays. If you want, you know what, screw it. You want to try, you go hard. You want, like you want to go all out on me by throwing these double teams at me. Full core press. How, let's see how you like it from now on. Let's see how you like it. Bang. Let me just run. I don't even have my guys out on the floor. Danny Green wide open the corner. Pick and roll. He's on he's on your back to Rondo. I got a popper here. Honestly, I can just dump it inside to a big if I wanted. Green. I miss completely mistimed. Because I don't know Danny Green's release. Uh talked a good game and it didn't work. If you want to actually make me try on defense, because you're out here sweating on me, I, I'm going to. Good job there with the reverse layup from Rondo. Is he quitting the game? If he's quitting the game, I'm good. Yeah, I think he's pausing out. I think he's, thankfully, I think he's pausing out here. That's all we need, like, get some quick wins here. Steal. Charge. There we go, you're on right through me. Dude, you have like two pauses to go. Just keep pausing, man. What you've been doing is great. You've been pausing. What? Send me attack middle. Rotate it out of the corner. Green. Come on. Good steal. Dude, just keep... What? Man, that AI is cracked. That AI is cracked. Oh, he's got pro four. Dude, he's gonna be wide open off quick point two here. The way this guy's playing defense, he's gonna be wide open on quick point two. Nope. Just run the baseline screen. Dot him, green. Oh, he's got hit with a weird load up. It's fine. Steal. Fine, way too late on that one. He's going there. Oh! Read him like a book. He's gonna go to the basket. Snatch back, green. There we go. Steal. I played a hundred of you before. I'm not sure you've ever played one of me. Especially with, it's weird with SPMM. The fact that I love the fact there's no SPMM in the draft. Like that is one of my favorite things about the drafts that there's no SPMM. Like you can actually play against the normal player. You're not coming up against like the literal best of the best. Now, that's the reason I'm not touching unlimited. And even like even TTO has SPMM. I'm 100% sure in TTO is SVMM. But, like, the, your team is factored into the SVMM. So, like, if you're five manning, you're either coming up against a low bracket SVMM or someone else in high bracket that's five manning. But, like, with the way injuries are, five manning's kind of. kind of dead. Oh, dear lord. Alright. Are we at halftime yet? This is very boring. Dude, you have no pauses left. Just pause one more time. Please pause one more time. Dude, pause again. How? What? Could have swore he paused twice. Starters. You you will pause this game. You will pause this game one more time. I'm going like, to make you think you have Terrence Ross open. How he scored in that possession, I will never know. But he did. Quick point two. I don't even need to run quick point two. He's just leaving Duncan Robinson open. And now I have that double screen. Dude, Vlad, I set the second screen. Oh, he's wide open. Can I make that? Can he shoot? Surely he can shoot. Steal. Oh my god. He's just... How did he hit a 65% over Vlad? I don't know what's going on. Like, every time I'm trying to run a play, he's playing some weird defense, so I can't. Where's Duncan Robinson going? 
He just camped in the key. Just hit him. Okay, just let me. Again, this guy, this guy wants to put some weird defense on me. Oh my god. Grab the damn ball! How is that a shooting foul? Oh, for God's sake. Let me just run. Let me just run. Someone's eventually... I start running enough, running circles enough times, someone's eventually going to be open. Like that. Like, I'm just going to start running in circles with my guys, and eventually one of my players is going to get open. He's going to have to pass. He, he can't go to pass Jason Kidd, so he has to pass somewhere. Pass it inside. He went... Dude, I, I cannot predict these passes. He's just throwing anywhere. He's not even looking for the open players. He's just throwing the ball. Green. There we go. Good shot there by Worthy. I guess it's weird. Like, he scored 16. And man, the 16 points have all been just mad stuff happening. Who's out here shooting very... Like, he just rebounded over three of my dudes. I got it. One of them was a, six, was a five foot ten player. But still, there's three of them. That's you. Dot him. Okay, come on. I mean, realistically, I can just do this. Maybe not, because you just ran away with Jason Kidd. Give me that layup. Let's go. He's... How many pauses does he have? The last time it said 28 seconds left. He's paw... Can you not pause out of a draft game or something? How many pauses does this guy have? What the hell was that? Like, I can't even describe some of these passes. He obviously, he must have openness turned all the way up and he just click X, click an X. Like, that's the only... That's the only way I can describe some of this stuff. Give me that. 73 ball, he's fine. Wow, Ty was right. Basically, one is chicken. Green that. That release is so chicken. Man, that was one of the worst releases in the game last year. That is a, such a good release this year. Okay, come on, we're good. Okay, again, I don't know where he's going with Rudy Gobert. Okay, I have no idea where he's going with Gobert. Green that. Or knock down the mid, he gets shot fry. Like, he's just going somewhere with Rudy Gobert. Oh, give me that. That's a rough shot. Oh, yeah, come on. Man, Mike Dunleavy has clamped me up in this game. Doesn't matter who it is, whether it's Miles or whether it's where it's Hill. Dunleavy's clamping me. Oh, he went there, not the cat. It's fine. Go block. Let's go. Freaking Dunleavy! I'm one. Mike Dunleavy cleaning up on boards. I uh, remember the starters in like. I bring them on now. Give me the layup. Let's go. How is it have three pauses left? Finally quit. Did I let him? I must have accidentally hit, hit continue at some stage. Could have swore he only had one pause left at one stage. I must have accidentally hit continue or something. There we go. 3 0 in the draft and auction outcomes. All of them sold. All of them sold. We have at least 100k in bags and at least 100k in watch collars as well and shoes. And shoe boost. We're sitting on with assets in our collection. And maybe they don't sell for 100k now, but in two weeks they will sell for 100k. And we sell like 300k or four, nearly 400k. So we've got tons of empty. And we have absolutely tons, tons of empty. I don't think there are any good, real, really good investments right now. I mean, certain badges might be all right. But like mismatch expert only, it all depends on what meta cards come out. Like if we get a really meta, if we get a Magic Johnson for first quals, mismatch expert becomes one of the most effective badges in the game. And a post spin technician, if magic doesn't come with it, becomes super expensive. The reason why mismatch expert becomes a thing is that if someone's running, it means you can't you need you need that badge if you're playing against magic pretty much. So let's go and just play a game of the 100. Let's go and play a game of the 100 just to end this. Um, point guard, De'Aaron. Um, Darius. Darius, De'Aaron, and Kispert? I mean, that works. That works, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I am. 
I am absolutely exhausted. Like this is the this is the first time I've had to get up at like nine in the morning for work in a long like by a long long time I mean first time I've had to get up early to actually do something in years. Literally, literally years. 2020 was the last time. He's uh He's trying to do the jazz challenges. Oh, walk it back. Walk it back. Oh yeah. I don't know which I cannot do anything. He can't do anything here. Mash. Screw it, I'm just gonna put it up. Okay. Okay, that's good defense there by his Dara Griffith. This is actually this can be a this is the rough roughest part of Griffith. Like I'm just happy that I, like I went five or six. Most people are really struggling with this part of Griffith. Drive in, he's got the lift. Oh no, we actually could lose this. If we lose this, it's gonna be a bit of a disaster. This will be a bit of a disaster. Okay, come on. Help up and drop back. Wow, six six nil. Give me that. There we go. About time we hit a shot with the iron. The iron is so much more fun to use than any other guard. Like I know if I lose a game in this, it doesn't really matter too much. I shouldn't lose this. Nice. Eight two. I don't even care about the top boards. The low boards a lot of time where you're getting the good, good stuff. Got him. Dunk that. Let's go. The AI can't guard that hop to the side move. Steal. Okay, now he's... Now he's, uh... Pressing up quite a bit. Now he's taking it seriously. Okay, cut him off. How did we not cut him off there? I just got a chuck. I got a pass and chuck, like... I couldn't even do that, like... How did we, like... I tried to cut him off middle. How did he manage to get the block there? I didn't think Donovan Mitchell had the greatest chase down animations. Why do you- Oh, he shouldn't have went there. We're back. He's gonna go back. He's gonna have to go back. He wants to cut middle. We just gotta cover everything. Me. Oh, we just have Donovan Mitchell. Okay. Okay, you do you. This guy beats me. Fair play to him. I'll give the guy a lot of credit if he does. I have the chuck. Oh, he failed. This guy's actually clamping me. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. I'm cheesing now, though. He's up 11 to 4, and he's actually showed that he can play a bit of defense. So I'm cheesing him. Play up. We're good. It's me. I'm there. If you score with Shannon Anderson, fair play to you. You're just the best. If you start scoring me with Shannon Anderson, or you even score them type of shots to me, you're just the best. Kisper. Oh, Miles Ma is wide open. That's gotta be in. Hard off. The hardest of hard off ball right now. Because you've got Shannon Anderson on the floor. Kisper, where are you going? Um, TT offline screen. Oh my god, this dude's clamping me. I'm in struggle town. Like he's wet. He's completely clamping me. Dude, why are you in the pick and roll there? Are you trying to switch glitch? He switch glitched me. Okay, yeah, that's smart. Turn Kispert into my uh, rim protector. Good defense, Mick. Run. Corner. There we go. About time. <laughs> About time we hit a shot there with Darius. Like, this would just... Good move. This dude's making right decisions. I definitely over uh, committed to Shannon Anderson, which I didn't need to do. Green. That's a, one as a 15, two. I shot a white. All right. Just paints it, honestly. How is that an open? First of all, how is that an open? Second of all, fair play. If this dude beats me, it would be nothing but congratulations. Because it's beating me with a freaking Jazz team. It's not the easy thing in the world to do. Green, come on. We can't hit a wide open corner. 
It's not good. Good decision, man. Man, this dude's... He's outplaying me. Fair play, man. Like, I'm playing horrifically. It doesn't matter, like... He's stopping. You can only play... Like, this guy can... You can only play who's in front of you. And all this guy has done... He's had an answer for everything I've tried to throw at him, so... That's a bad shot. Like, he's gotten consistent stops. Which is not the easy thing to do against me and TTO. Good steal. Run. That's his shot. There we go. Still not over yet. Still not over yet, but... I mean, the ball's still well and truly in his court. Like, we still need to stop. We've been struggling to get... It's like, we need to stop in a score, which is what we've been struggling to get consistently against him. And he makes the layup with Shannon Anderson. Okay, he's made some crazy stuff on the inside that I would not expect him to make with his players, but... Still, green. Nope, he got a contest on that and I missed. He stopped, he stopped one of my main threats, which is Corey Kispert. And we just... That's just 2k being 2k. One. Okay, now it's getting... Now it's gotten tight. 19 to 17. You gotta make your decision. I'm making you beat me on a jump shot. I'm making you beat me on a jump shot here. Unless you want to take that type of shot here. And... Okay, if, th if that's how I lose the game, that's how I lose the game. The ball gets blocked right into your player for a wide open shot. But... I mean, could I have been better? Of course. It's so funny. People are like, oh, grading cards mean so much. And I'm like, the difference between 1.254 and 1.250 are like, literally, that's probably 4 MTMA extra. I definitely lost money grading. I'm definitely losing money grading Darius Miles. And 7 graded players are normally cheaper than non graders. Oh, my record's horrific, but again, couldn't care less. But yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is pretty much it. Uh, go win the draft there in a fortunate game in TT Offline. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.